Okay, so what is the concentration of silver <clears throat> in solution when a 0 0.01 molar solution of silver nitrate is made in 0 0.50 molar aqueous ammonia? So normally, of course, the concentration of silver would be 0 0.01 because silver nitrate is soluble. However, in this case, we're going to have a ligand, which is ammonia. So we need to um, demonstrate that there's going to be a complex ion that's formed. Okay, so first we're going to form the complex. Okay, we'll show the reaction. So we have silver plus 2NH3 because we know that the complex ion is with two ammonium, uh, ammonia ligands. So it has a coordination number of two. So initially or actually before the reaction the concentration is 0 0.010 and that's from up here that's what was given ammonia is 0 0.50 and then um, the complex hasn't formed yet so that's going to be zero so we're not setting this up as equilibrium yet. For mathematical purposes, we're going to uh, figure out how much of the complex forms, and then in the second step, we'll figure out what is the equilibrium concentrations of everything. So for now, we're going to assume that the silver is the limiting reactant, so it's going to get all used up. Now be careful here. This is going to be 2 because we've got 2 times 0 0.010 molar that gets used up. Okay, these are both going to go down. And then this is going to go up. We've got a 1 to 1 ratio with silver to the complex. So that's going to go up the same amount that the silver goes down. So at the end, we're going to say we have zero. We're going to say it all gets used up. We're going to say we have 0.48 uh, molar for our concentration of ammonia. And then the complex, we're going to say that it uh, completely forms. Okay, now, again, this is for mathematical purposes. Silver is never going to be zero. But this is how we're going to... Um, uh, mathematically determine what happens at equilibrium. So the second step is going to be equilibrium. We're going to use um, Kf. Okay, and we'll use our ice box. So we're going to set up the same equation, only this time we're going to use equilibrium. Okay, so let's make that equilibrium. So our silver is going to be initially zero. We're just going to bring it down all these calculations that we had uh, from our initial reaction. Again, this was the reaction. We've got to have some complex ions so we can show equilibrium. Okay, and we're going to bring down the 0 0.010 molar for the complex. Okay, now this is going to go up or down. Well, it can only go up, and we don't know how much it's going to go. And that's going to be what we're looking for up here. What's the concentration of the silver in the solution at equilibrium? So that's going to be uh, our equilibrium concentration. This is obviously going to go up 2x, because we have the 2 there. We don't want to forget that. And this is going to go down x. So... That's the change. At equilibrium, we're going to have x 
0.48 plus 2x, and then uh, for the complex, it's going to be 0 0.010 minus x. Again, the reason why we did this in two steps is to help us with, um, with the math to determine what our concentrations are. Okay, so Kf, which is given in a table, is going to be the concentration of the complex. over the concentration of silver. This is uh, not Ksp, this is Kf. So there will be all species in solution. And that's going to be times ammonia, or on the bottom, ammonia squared. OK, um, Kf is given in our table of Kf values as 1.7 times 10 to the seventh. So it's a very large Kf and it favors the formation of the products. Okay, so we've got 0 0.010 um, minus x, so that's going to be the equilibrium concentration of the top times x on the bottom. I should say divided by x, and then on the bottom again, 0.48 plus 2x. Okay, and that's going to be squared. Again, we're taking these values and plugging in our values at equilibrium. We're going to go ahead and say that x is small. So we're going to neglect on top where we're adding because we're adding a very small number and we're also going to say we're, or I'm sorry, subtracting a very small number and adding a very small number on the bottom. Okay, so then um, when we calculate for x, we get for silver equals 2.6 times 10 to the minus 9 molar. Our complex ion is, as we said, 0 0.10 minus x. So that's going to equal 0 0.10 molar, because x, again, is incredibly small. And ammonia is going to equal 0.48 minus 2x, which also equals 0.48 molar, because x is very, very small. So, if we were to look at the percent x, could we, in fact, then neglect x? So, if we take 2.69 times 10 to the minus 9th molar, that's going to be um, the x that we found. Um, divided by our original concentration, of 0 0.010 molar times 100, we get a very small number, and that is that turns out to be 2.69 times 10 to the minus fifth percent, which is way less than 5%. So we can neglect x. Okay, so to recap, what we did was first we formed the complex ion because initially it was zero. So we set up the reaction using up all of our limiting reactant uh, to set this up as our initial or before equilibrium. Okay, so this is a way of helping us solve the problem mathematically. Again, zero, uh, silver is never going to be zero. 
Then we plug these numbers as our initial before equilibrium. And just like we have with all of our equilibrium problems, we find out what our equilibrium concentrations are and solve for x. If x is small enough, we can neglect him when we subtract or add him. And that, therefore, we were able to calculate the concentrations of silver, which we can see goes down a lot. Silver decreases tremendously from its original. So look at that difference. It went from 0.01 that when we added silver, or I'm, I'm sorry, when we added ammonia, it decreased tremendously.